hi there welcome to this tutorial of orion so we have been designing the structure of using uh, orion uh, software so if you've not watched our previous tutorial so please do watch our previous tutorial i'm going to turn it to 3d this is what we have been doing so far this is the 3d of what we have been let me move this a little bit so this is what we have been doing so far we have modeled this designed it to this extent so this is what we've been doing so far so in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to design the foundation and turn this off and go back to my 2d so i'm going to teach you today how to design pad foundation and Orion so I'm going to go this is my stories that's like as we've done before so this is my story zero zero is my foundation so I'm going to click on double click on that so this is my foundation these are my columns let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see what I'm saying so these are my columns there that we have placed so far all these are the columns so this is now the foundation so I'm going to open a crossing window which i'm going to left click as i pull my mouse button away from that point that i've left click to be able to cover all of this my columns and now i'm going to release now you see orion begin to highlight every column on this particular floor which is my foundation now i'm going to right click on any of the column i'm going to right click on this then i'm going to go to insert pad base now you can insert a combine you can insert pile if you want to but i'm inserting pad so in our next tutorial we're going to be designing for some other ones both pile and also i'm going to be designing for raft so please subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification so that you can be notified when we have done next tutorial so i'm going to right i'm going to click on this pad now this little pad base option pops up now if you want to design for create typical footings for this selected columns now you can see it's columns it's not column so this signify plural which is meant all columns on this particular floor which is my foundation here so i can say okay if i'm creating a typical column typical footing for this particular structure it means it can be rectangular it can be square or whatever now if i said no i don't want it to be square i don't want it to be typical columns i want it to be create just a square column that i'm going to check this button so you're going to be using one per time so i'm going to say create a square footing that means it's going if it's going to create a one meter by one meter column base for each of them so you're going to do that round for all of them so but i want it to be designed according to the loading that is coming to each of the column because the loading coming to this column might be different from the loading on this particular column because they are different this is an internal column then this is an external column so i wanted to create a typical footing for all selected columns so i'm going to check this create square column then i'm going to check this particular uh, typical footings for all my columns i'm going to say okay so this box pops up now this is a part the properties of the base now do we have a little bit of some critical issues here now for you to design this your foundation there are criteria now you have to go for a soil investigation so you have to have soil parameters you have to know the properties of the soil which is we have the allowed variable stress of the soil the unit weight and some other things so this will be given to you by the geotech engineer so when you come you just plug them in here and that will be all so this is my footing that i have this f1 is, is my footing one so the other one is going to be footing two you're not going to be f3 so just like that so and now my the footing depth which is the thickness the thickness of my footing i'm going to make it to be 300 
So that is a thickness, the T per hand. So I don't have any T per hand. The sort charge, which is 700. So I'm going to leave it at this. Oh, I can say, okay, this sort charge. Let me just make it 1,200. So the unit weight, this is okay for my soil because all these parameters were given to me by the geotech engineer so i think in your particular location you also have to do this in your particular country or your uh, cities wherever you are making your foundation so you have to make all this soil investigation and all these parameters were given to you so me i have done my so these are the values that was given to me so i have my cover to be uh, 40 for my concrete i can say 40 or i, I said 40 that's i'm using 40 so you can also use any value but uh, is in 25 so we have the materials for this our particular foundations which is here we have grid 25 concrete we have steel grid this is 460 and all of that so we have our y16 so we are using this are t16 which is a diameter for the foundation the bar diameter for the foundation that we are using so when you have entered all of these values now i can now come to this loading and tell him okay try all combine try all columns slow the combination now you can tell now what this means is you should look for all the column loads that it has then look for or use every combination that it has you can also use this maximum load on all columns so the, you would going to check for the load if i check this button so it's going to check for now this is the hazard load this is the maximum that we have this is a maximum moment for the columns that we have and this is in the x direction and the y direction should this is a maximum but i wanted to try all so it's going to try all combinations that is going to use and it's going to use them for the calculation of the footing now when you're done with all of this so you're going to come to calculate now you're going to click on calculate when i click on calculate now see what pops up so this is my pad base f1 which is going to try to design so this is story one column nine this is my column which is 225 by 225 so these are the loadings for it now this is my footing dimensions which is one meter which is 1000 millimeter by 1000 millimeter so the lx is in the x direction the ly is in the y direction so this is going to be one meter by one meter so that is what this means oh you can say okay no i don't like it one meter by one meter i want to make it to be a little bit uh, big if you want to you can say okay go for one to 1200 by 1200 so you can say okay you can just leave it like that or you can if you want to check on this let me check on this so that you can see i can check on this and tell him to be square you see it change it, it turns back to become our 1000 so that is how this works now this is the soil these are all the checks that have been done we have the punching check this all is calculated you see okay this is okay all these values are okay this all parameters and everything has been calculated and it's pretty okay now if you check and you see that none one of it is not okay you have to go back and redesign i mean you have to change the dimension of your footing you can just click on this arrow to change the dimension of your footing you see, as i click on this arrow dimension of my footing changes and all the calculation also changes with it it's because it is square footing but if i click on on check this box and begin to click on this you see this one remain constant and this one is moving it's changing so the, the 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 calculation and the design also changes so but if i want to change this one also you see everything also changes but i want it to be just square so i want to check this and make it to work effectively like this one when you're done you're going to say okay now when i say okay it has done all the calculations and everything so this is a footing dimension now so we have 
1000 millimeter by 1000 millimeter all combinations have been carried this the axial load the maximum that has been used so far is our soil parameters or if the footing is not okay and the soil parameters is still not okay you can come just change this soil parameter just say in your own design maybe during your soil investigation they came out with a value maybe let's say 180 180 kilonewton per meter square that is the value for your soil i'm just doing this for design purpose so there's a value for your soil please 180 so 180 so i'm going to just remove the one zero so i'm going to say okay now you see all values comes out the way we want them now this is the pad footing it is become one meter by one meter so from this center line to this 500 by 500 and all of that so all is created so the foundation is designed so this is how to design your foundation this is our foundation so we have designed this our foundation so which is the pad footings now these are the base that we have designed so i'm going to turn it to 3d so that you can see what we have done so i'm going to put it on 3d so i'm going to click on this icon here to turn it on 3d now i'm going to play it so i'm going to click on this animation to play the animation and i'm going to move this away so that you can appreciate what we have done so these are the parts that we have done so you can see as it rotates so these are the part footings and this is what we have done so far that we have inserted pad to this particular structure on orion specifically this is how to design your pad foundation on orion you can go ahead and just explore some other design and other values for the soil parameters but please the soil parameter is very important so whatever design you're doing you have to first of all know the soil type and the soil properties you are putting the the particular structure on before you even start the design so you see Orion is helping us to save that I'm going to say okay yes I want to save that so I save that so this is how to design part foundation on Orion you subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like our video and if you've gotten value from this our tutorial and also subscribe to our channel for in our next tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to export this foundation layout to AutoCAD. See you in our next tutorial.